What's up, beauty guys? Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I feel that my goal is to bring in the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellect to escape velocity. Let's start today's day. I'm right outside uh, this S Bahn is called as West End. Uh, I'm going to ESCP Europe Berlin campus, one of the top business schools in Europe. I'm doing a campus tour there in that school, talking to students. Also, uh, if I have a chance, I'm going to speak to Dean about what makes this business school so unique and um, having a six campus all over Europe, what kind of advantages does it give to a student and at the same time the brand? And uh, the reason we are standing outside, that's this is the whole building and it goes way beyond inside. Uh, we just don't have permission, so we had to stand outside. guys so I'm joined here by Pauline she's from France studying masters in <laughs> strategy and digital business exactly I got it right okay she's studying here which semester are you in first semester first semester okay uh, let's walk in and um, get to know her journey um, her background like and how did she get admission into one of the top business schools in the world so before I go on the campus tour as an outsider this is what you see like there is one building there is one building here uh, and then this is internally connected and then you go there. Pauline, why don't you quickly go ahead and give us a background of who you are, where you come from, a bit more details, you know? So, yes, as you said, I'm from France. What I did before, it's a Bachelor in uh, International Management. It was quite large, what a business is, and I had like HR, finance, and yeah. all this uh, business topic, so quite general. And then I went uh, to Malaysia and worked for the, the French Chamber of Commerce over there. And then I decided to go for a master and I wanted something a bit more specialized first. And I found out this uh, master um, relating business and digital. And I thought, like, well, this is what I want to do. Uh, the digital aspect is quite important at the moment. And yeah. uh, like, this is the future. That's for sure, yeah, yeah. Just a quick follow-up question. How many years did you work? Uh, actually, I didn't work uh, that much. I did a lot of internships. Like, for internship in my bachelor wow, and okay. then I went for like a bit less than a year uh, to Malaysia and then I started uh, the month. Let's walk in and then uh, get to know a bit more details. Can you walk my audience what building is what? Yeah, so here this is the main building, uh, main entrance and uh, you have this building as well on the right side. This one, okay. Where we have classes sometimes, but you also have like offices uh, for administrative things, and here also. Let's go in. All right, this is what you see. Uh, one second before we go there, look at this. Welcome to a present school. Good for you to decide, like looking at the number. Uh huh. So here the main entrance and you have like straight in front uh, our forum where you can exchange with the other students and have a snack, your lunch break and so Yeah. On. So she was talking about like this area, this is where people can like come. Let me, let me show you, wait. So at the moment I think the classes are going on but this is where, this is your mensa. Exactly. Right? <laughs> The only thing we have is a nest cafe, small cafeteria. Oh, you have more like a breakfast item here, right? Yes. Yeah, so okay. Like snacks, snacks, yeah. Okay. And, and yeah, you can bring your own food as well and eat it here. Oh we yeah. We have microwaves to warm them and piano if you want to play music if you're an artist. Okay, more like a therapy. Yeah. <laughs> Express buster, right? Exactly. Okay, let's go further. What's next? Pauline, before we go on to see other facilities in the building, why don't you walk my audience through how is your course structured like? The structure of the course is um, in four semester. Okay. So first semester we are in Berlin. Um, and then second semester, we we'll go first to Paris for three months and then uh, we come back at the end of the semester um, in Berlin. Third semester, we are in the Berlin campus as well, and then you have the opportunity to have the 
to do your internship afterwards and a master thesis and so on. Right, right. Um, this is the beauty of studying in this school is they have six campuses all over Europe and you can, I mean, I think it is mandatory in your course to go at least to Campus. Of course, it's mandatory to go to uh, at least two campuses, and then you see two different countries with two different languages. Even right. the like the course are uh, obviously uh, in English for everybody. Two different uh, work experiences as well uh, with right. the professionals, um, the people who will teach us, and the one coming from our uh, partners as well. We had someone from the company actually who was a strategic. Um, consultant there and he teach us uh, the imaging uh, technologies and we will uh, present our final presentation to them at their office in Berlin. What? Yes, in Berlin here so we go so to he their comes office. Here, gives a lecture and, and then like oh my god, okay, okay. Yeah, exactly. This is something which was of course I've studied MBA here in this country but never had anything like this. Okay. Yes, so this is actually really exciting. We had also a challenge uh, actually with a Wayfair company here in Berlin as well. We had to work on a topic over one night and okay. present this at the Wayfair office on the next day at 9 a.m. in the morning. So we didn't sleep that much, but you still to be, you need to be fresh on the next morning and yeah, present yeah. So, um, to them. Uh, yeah, and then we will have a like an hackathon as uh, actually as well with the Henkel company, like two two three days hackathon with them. So wow. we will work really closely. Well, talking at this, uh, it only shows that they push you to do a critical thinking. They push you to they, they challenge your limits, exactly. and and come up with your better version. What you think is the end, but you have to come up with something else. So this is the. This is what we're going to the other building. It's it's D, right? D building, exactly. Okay, all right. Uh, let's go there. Uh, but before that, I would like to speak about part-time jobs or internships. What about like internships? What do you think? Like, is is your university helping you getting there, or you got to do things by yourself? They help quite a lot because they have a lot of uh, partners and all this company they come to campus yeah. to uh, meet you and talk about uh, their opportunities and uh, we have uh, each year um, recruiting days uh, you can apply online and see all the opportunities you have uh, apply for jobs and also for run tables if you want to be closer to uh, to the people in the company and if you have any questions um, any questions you can ask them I mean looking at the brand itself uh, I have to tell you like uh, when it comes to part getting a full-time job um, try to put that seed by working part-time into a company so that you prove what your skill sets are and then if they like what you're good at they might offer you a full-time job you never know before you complete your studies exactly. I think that's how it, it works out right like technically you go there as a part-time job or an internship basically and then yes. you show your things yeah yeah of course like this is the best thing I th actually I think to enter a company you will do your internship or working student and then if it matches, then why not uh, staying there oh that's true and, and when you have a, such a solid backing up of a brand like ESCP I mean of course, uh, HR people are not stupid that which university you're graduating from, you know. So yeah, let's go in into this further building now. Now we go in and every student got this chip so, uh, in order to open every door. So basically, if you're not part of the university, it's kind of hard <laughs> to go in, should yeah, yeah. be, so it's quite safe. It's quite safe, yeah, security measures. Okay, go in seems like a lot of classrooms and offices here. What is this place mainly for? Um, we have on one side um, the classrooms and on the other side we have some offices okay. for administrative things. Uh, if you have any question about class or schedule or your emails is not working or your app, or you can go there and ask okay. or certificate as well. Right. Let me walk you, come here further. Um, this is an interesting chart for a lot of you guys who always have this question of, hey, uh, does, does the ranking of a university matter? Uh, uh, what kind of job can I expect? First of all, there's no campus placement thing, so let me get that out straight. But uh, looking at the six campuses they have, uh, Berlin, uh, London, Madrid, Paris, 
Turin and Warsaw. Um, yeah, look at the stats. And very few universities in the world, let me tell you, have these three triple accreditation, um, these ones. And uh, but yeah, I'm gonna make a separate video talking just about uh, accreditation and how important they are. Well, in, uh, next question I would like to ask you is what is your class strength and how many nationalities? Because I read everywhere there's like multiple nationalities studying. What's there? Yes, in our class we are like a small class actually. We are 24, um, which actually um, I really like it. And we are six or seven different nationalities. Um, also, we have Chinese, uh, Indians, and also Italian, French, Germans. Um, so it's kind of uh, really multicultural. And um, I really like the fact that we are so many different kids. We all have, of course, different backgrounds, uh, different way to think, different way to work on things. And this is, uh, it can be really challenging, uh, but at the same time, this is how you, um, you learn how to work with people. That's true. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thinking from uh, different perspectives, that's what uh, this whole class sessions are all about, like the group task, yes. right? Uh, managing other people the way they think and the way you think and putting across your points to them. I think that's what we have. Yes, of course. All right, guys, so I'm joined here by Mr. Andreas. Sir, welcome to my channel. He's the director of ESCP. Never thought that I'm going to be sitting next to him. I have done one of the videos for ESCP Europe uh, Berlin campus. Okay. We're standing outside the gate, thinking like, one day I'm going to go in the school. <laughs> and I've had a privilege to sit next to him. Sir, I'm here to know a bit more about what kind of impact students are creating when they are graduating from ESCP. Um, I know you have six campuses in Europe, specific to Berlin since you are handling this? Well, uh, first of all, nice for uh, having me. Um, well, we're a business school, yeah. so obviously most of our graduates, of our students, they end up uh, somewhere in business, mm -hmm. um, either in a company or launching, actually increasingly launching their own um, startup. Right. Um, and some of them have uh, some very good careers, international careers, so become CEOs. We have uh, former CEOs or CEOs from Total, uh, Vivendi, um, Arthur D. Little, uh, the Eurostar actually also at some point uh, the CEO was uh, uh, an ESCP Europe alumnus. Um, but obviously not all of them are yeah. actually becoming CEO. But we also have uh, students ending up in politics. We have a former French prime minister. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. And um, you never know where you end up. Yeah. Huh? And um, you might know uh, Michel Barnier, oh, yeah. he is the, um, currently the European chief negotiator mm -hmm. for the Brexit, so he's also an alumnus of uh, ESCP Europe. And uh, some of them, they do sports, actually, uh, you never know how, um, why, but um, they are like uh, Olympic uh, medal winners or, or world champions in running or uh, swimming or yeah. fencing. And uh, while others, so they end up in academia, like uh, myself, because actually I am also an alumnus of ESCP Europe. So, ah, yeah. okay. So we have uh, like more than 50,000 um, alumni anywhere in the world and obviously in all the different sectors you can find us. Just a quick backstory. So in 2015, when I was searching for my own business school um, in Germany, ESCP is like everywhere on top. My question is, what makes a business school a business school like a number one several answers but uh, obviously the number one you looked at the rankings uh, so um, in the rankings you have to uh, follow uh, several criteria in which we are quite good it seems because yeah. if not we wouldn't be yeah. uh, on uh, in, in, in the top ranks but um, it's uh, the international where we are really good uh, at ESCP Europe is this international European cross-cultural dimension and this mm -hmm. counts a lot also in, in the rankings. Uh, you said it before, we have uh, six campuses uh, well, next to Berlin and Paris, London, Madrid, Torino, uh, Warsaw and the uh, special thing is um, that our students all have to study on at least two different campuses. In all the programs, they need okay. to uh, study in two different campuses, on two different campuses. But many of them, uh, depending on the program, they also study in three or even four different locations. 
And that's maybe what makes uh, ESCP Europe special and why we are quite well ranked. Thanks a lot, sir, uh, well, for having me here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to continue with the campus tour. All right, guys, so I'm joined here by Dr. Mishaila. Welcome to my channel. Uh, Hello. She is taking care of career service here. Can we start with a basic question? What kind of concerns do you normally receive from students? Well, it's about yeah, where to find an internship, please make my CV beautiful, what can I do? So we give all sorts of advices with regards to careers, so it means orientation, uh, help of improving do application documents, um, connecting them to uh, companies we work with, also alumni. There were some of my dream companies which were displayed all over the campus and Very well. they, they, they do come here and, and teach students that was wow that's impressive I think the other question which is really a big alarming question for a lot of students when it comes to investment and, and you know they're, they're investing in this school uh, into their own career yeah uh, people always look out for full-time job right mm -hmm. um, the whole purpose of education is enabling them with all these other opportunities what do you think of so far uh, people have got placed into companies. Mm -hmm. What's your experience with ESCP and looking students so closely? What you can say is uh -huh. if you compare these students to others, uh, they're more the, the ones that are easy to place because yeah. they have a lot of international exposure. Most of them have work experience already. Yeah. They're pretty focused um, and, and focus themselves while they are studying here. Yeah. Uh, so these are the most important points. So, and of course we have, I think at, at all campuses and also here in Berlin, a lot of touch points with companies and employers. You can meet uh, in workshops, in um, career events, but also in lectures. So you can make yeah. your contacts. And so the, the step then on the labor market, finding your, yourself a place is, is not so big. So That's yeah. so true, yeah. yeah. I mean, we were just having a discussion with one of the students here mm -hmm. and there was some consultant from Bain and Company comes and gives you a lecture and you yeah. got to work on the project. And I was like, yeah. what? Yeah. That's like, I look at from outside. Whoa, that's, the, that's the building I yeah, want to go and work that's, for. That's one of the things we did. But for example, last week we had our very big career event, the recruiting days, uh, with 42 companies on campus. And, um, wow. Okay. Uh, two of them, I mean, a lot of them did first round interviews already, so it was pre-scheduled, ah. students selected for that, uh, and two companies also did direct recruitment, which basically means you have three interviews that day, and after that you're given a contract or not, so for next year, and for full-time right. jobs as well as for internships. So. We try to do a lot right. to make the transition to the labor market pretty easy, I would say. <laughs> right, right. I think one of the key points here is uh, they are the enablers. They will give you everything what you want, but at the end, you have to perform, yeah, right? absolutely. You have to be yeah. talented. You have to be skillful. Um, and prepared. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you have to be there. I mean, if we have companies coming for workshops and you register for that, we expect you usually to be there. Oh, yeah. um, and what you also have to do is to have to make use of the opportunities we offer. Awesome. So if you don't come to the workshops, if you don't come to the information sessions, so you won't benefit from it. That's, that's right. clear. You know? So make the context on your own. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Doctor for having me. All right guys, that's it from ESCP. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.